This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms, here's Dr. Don. Hey, here yeah, East Alabama and West Georgia. Welcome to your Monday. What is that falling from the sky outside this morning? I'll tell you all about it coming up in this morning's edition of your primetime forecast for Monday, June 24th. 2024 on Dr. Dodd's Weather, brought to you by the fine folks at Mark Mitchell's Bama Diesel Repair in Woodland, Alabama. Give Mark a call at 256-201-3685 for all of your diesel repair needs. Anywhere across East Alabama and West Georgia, Mark Mitchell's the guy to call. He can handle all of your diesel repair, and he's honest, he's good, he's local. He's right there in Woodland, Alabama. You owe it to yourself to get in touch with Mark Mitchell at Bama Diesel Repair today. Also, Jamie Dukas got you covered with your insurance. Get your ducks in a row with Dukas. Yeah, you can click the link at the top of the video. You can also call Jamie at 256-831-7770. He'll come to you, and he will show you how he can save you money and, in a lot of cases, increase your coverage for your insurance needs. Also, don't forget to head over to our YouTube channel. You want to click that subscribe button and the little bell so that when we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that push notification. All right, so we have a broken line of showers moving through East Alabama and West Georgia this morning. Maybe even some rumbles of thunder from time to time. Maybe some brief heavy rainfall, a little gusty wind, but nothing severe. We have no watches or warnings out there this morning. Just enjoy this rain. I know the timing's not exactly right because everybody's getting ready to go to work and school. Well, maybe work, uh, but it is uh, certainly needed. It, unfortunately, it's not going to be meaningful meaningful rain. I mean, I guess every drop you get is meaningful to a certain extent, but what I'm talking about is it's not going to do much to help us with our dry conditions that we have going on. Now, what it will do is funnel in some drier air, comparatively speaking, so it, maybe it's not as humid this afternoon and again tomorrow afternoon, but that won't last long. We get back into some serious heat as we go toward uh, the middle part of this week. We'll have another chance of rain on Wednesday, but right now that is trending lower and lower. Uh, we, it looked like at one point we might have a 50 to 60 percent chance of rain on Wednesday, but now it's dropping off to about a 30 percent chance. So uh, just scattered afternoon storms the rest of the week, and it's going to be H-O-T, uh, H-O-T the rest of the week hot out there across east alabama and west georgia not a whole lot happening out in the tropics we're still watching the southwest gulf of mexico for the possibility of another disturbance it would move across mexico would not be an issue for the northern gulf of mexico let's take a look at your current conditions already 74.4 degrees out there feels like 75 wind out of the west southwest at two Gusting to four, the humidity is 92%. Barometric pressure, 29.89, dew point 72. Look at that, almost a quarter of an inch of rain or a little over a quarter of an inch of rain at the rain bucket at uh, Five Points Farms there in northeast Chambers County. High temperature, 94.7 yesterday. Currently, we do have showers and cloudy skies in the area. Sunrise this morning at 532. The sun sets this evening at 755. PM. After the rain moves through, we'll go back to mostly sunny skies by this afternoon. We will make it to 95, 97 in Franklin. We'll hit 96 in Lafayette, 96 in Alexander City, and Ashland tops out this afternoon at 93 degrees. Here's your six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. Mostly uh, cloudy this morning, a 40% chance of a passing shower. Back to sunshine this afternoon, 95, your high temperature, 69, your overnight low tonight. 
Uh, mostly sunny skies on Tuesday, 96. On Wednesday, our next chance of afternoon scattered thunderstorms, 96 will be your high. Maybe a little cooler on Thursday at 93 with a 30% chance of rain. You see the MO here. 30% chance of rain on Friday, 95. And on Saturday, a 40% chance of showers and thunderstorms, mostly in the afternoon, 93 degrees will be your daytime high. Notice red all the way across the board this morning. It's going to be another hot week across East Alabama and West Georgia. So let's take a look at what's going on out there this morning. We do have a broken line of showers stretching from Atlanta uh, back over toward Heard County, across Randolph, and then across Clay. Probably the heaviest of all of this is taking place in Clay County at this hour, so we'll take you in a little bit closer on this. And uh, you can see that right there from Ashland down to Millerville and back over into western Randolph County, we do have uh, the heaviest part of this shower or thunderstorm with a handful of lightning uh, strikes there in the last three minutes and a couple of pockets of very heavy rainfall, moderate rain now falling uh, from Highway 77 all the way back to the western side of Clay County. This is all moving very slowly off to the southeast this morning and you can see as i put it in motion the direction uh, that we're talking about we zoom back out we'll give you the big shot this morning and uh, you'll see those showers moving into lagrange as well and probably into the west point um, down there into the valley area and then scattered showers in southern Tallapoosa, northern elmore and uh, this all stretches back into central alabama as well uh, so, yeah, not major. This is not going to give us a lot of relief from the storms that are taking, I mean, from the heat that's taking place out there. But uh, I certainly will be uh, welcome uh, to see a few raindrops in your front yard this morning. Keep in mind, if you're watching this video much past 6 a.m. Central, uh, then this may not be very accurate as far as the radar is concerned. rest of the forecast is certainly valid. Hey, don't forget to support us here on Dr. Don's Weather. If you can, head over to our weather store. The link's at the top of the video on Facebook, the bottom of the video on YouTube, and pick up a coffee cup, a T-shirt, and a baseball cap. Proceeds from the sales of those items come back to support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. If you can't do that, uh, then here's something you can do that's absolutely free. Like us on Facebook, share us with your friends, ask your friends to share with their friends, and then go over to our YouTube channel, subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather, and click that little bell. Doesn't cost you anything to do that. The more followers and subscribers we get, the better off we are. So that helps us out tremendously if you can't support us financially. Please consider doing that today. Have a fantastic Monday. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We'll do all this again for you. First thing tomorrow morning here on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission. First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sway Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.